Okay, welcome back. Um, right, first of all, we're going to set up a custom shelf, such as I've got here. Now, shelves can be made. These are all different shelves that are, are within the panel sets. I've created one called Games, but um, you might want to set a different one up. But to do that, what we need to do is go to Windows and go down to Shelf Editor. Now this little screen will come up and this shows you all the shelves that we've got and you can see my last one is Games. Well, in here we're just going to create a new one. So we put New Shelf and then we lay it, we call it whatever we like. So I'll call this one Custom. You might want to call your, your one Games. And then we close out of that. Now as you can see at the end there, we've got the shelf called Custom. Now we need to add things to it. And what we're going to be adding is the Polygon Cube, the um, Sphere, Cube, Cylinder, Planar, for starters. So what we do is make sure Polygon is selected, and then Create, and we go no, um, Polygon Primitive Sphere. Now. We click, we click and hold the control and shift and press on that one. And you'll see it appears in there. So then we do another one, polygon cube, hold the control, shift, and then left hand mouse click the cube. And continue to do this throughout our, oh, didn't add it there throughout our projects. So here we go, next one, cylinder, and then create polygon primitive, plane, and there. The next one we need is the extrude, and the select point edge cutting face, and the merge vertices. So again, we go to mesh, Edit Mesh Extrude, click that. Edit Mesh, Split Polygon Tool. What do we need next? Merge Vertices, so Edit Mesh, and Merge down here. The Games, we need to combine and we need to select border edges to append face. So the combine, we might add these as we're going along. So combine, mesh combine. Edit mesh, append polygon tool. And we've got hard and soft edges. So here we go, down here to normals, and we go soft edge, hold that. Then we go hard edge, and hold that. Back to games. Um, center pivot modify down to center pivot and we go to history delete all history by type so we go to edit delete all history by type and history put that in there and we've got a UV texture editor should be around here somewhere. It's under Windows and UV Texture Editor. Back to Games. Face is normal. It's normal. find it. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, if you make a mistake and put it in there, you can always go back to your settings and preferences, go to your shelf editor, and go to shelves, pick the custom shelf, shelf contents, then go down to that one there and delete the item from it. It doesn't delete it from anywhere else, just deletes it, deletes it from there. So that's a good thing to know. And also, within this, we can also rename them. So, for instance, if I wanted to UV Texture Editor, that's the name that it's called it, but I want to call it UV. And now you'll notice it's changed to UV. So carrying on, we've got our Hyper Shade, and I've put in the plugins as well. I'm skipping over maps at the moment and um, display face normals. You can add that later. But we'll put the hyper shade in there, that's for sure. So we go to window and down to hypergraph hierarchy. Put that one in there. That's quite handy. And we might add more, but these are the ones that we'll be looking at and using mostly. Um, insert edge loop tool, now this is quite a good one. That's quite a good one to put in there. I haven't got it on my game shelf, but um, that is one that I, we're gonna be using quite a lot of. Uh, also to delete the shelf, you can go into settings and go to the shelf editor, and I can look at the shelf, so I've got custom shelf there, and I can delete the shelf. So you don't have to, you can get rid of it. Okay, so that um, ends this lesson on setting up your custom shelf. So make sure you've got these tools, especially um, from the history backwards, all those ones, make sure you, that you've got those already loaded because we'll be clicking on those. It will save me going, saying go to mesh, go to this, go to that. And we might add more along the way. But that's it for now. So that's to set a custom shelf up. In the next lesson, we'll be setting up our image planes.